Welcome back, everybody. Hey, if you were to do an internet search right now about early rock and roll artists, you're going to notice the images pretty much all met. Elvis Presley, maybe Chuck Berry, and a little, a little Richard, to name just a couple. But there's a woman who influenced many of them, and yet she's a name few people know that is until now. The godmother of rock and roll is the focus of today's Deep Dive with Angela. Like I have to tell you, when I first saw this image advertising a new show at Seattle Repertory Theater, I didn't know what to make of it. A woman with a more conservative hairdo, wearing this elegant dress, and holding an electric guitar. And then the caption, shout, sister, shout. I'm thinking, is this religion, rock and roll? Well, once I learned the story behind this, I found out it's everything. And it's someone we should not only know, but celebrate. <laughs> Seattle Rep's new show, Shout, Sister, Shout, based on the true story of Sister Rosetta Tharp. In the late 30s and 40s, she became gospel's first superstar, and decades later in 2018, was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And so many people were like, well, who is she? Why are they inducting her? Like, where did this woman come from? Oh, if you only knew. <laughs> Didn't it rain, children? When you're a trailblazer, uh, people often Get, you get forgotten. People thought Elvis invented rock guitar. One of the first people to marry gospel and rock and roll, she was a black woman who was walking around with an electric guitar, an acoustic guitar, doing riffs, runs, and everything. The way she would bend the notes and things like that, it came from like real muscle power. And, she, and people would say she played like a man. She could make a guitar talk. in these dainty sort of gowns and things like that, and yet she was so robust when she was playing. She was a black woman from Cotton Plant, Arkansas, who these iconic people, Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, um, even some of our current um, artists, Meatloaf, Quest Love from The Roots, like uh, these people know who she is and they've been influenced by her. She did an incredible picking. That's what really attracted Elvis was uh, her picking, and he liked her singing too, but he liked that picking first <laughs> uh, because it was so different. It wasn't just her guitar playing that made her a star. She had the voice, the energy, and a personal life that defied convention, complete with what today would be a tabloid headline. Her management came to her, her, her record sales were starting to wane, and they thought, well, get a wedding because weddings get people excited. She had seven months to find a husband, and she found him. Well, you're about to be guests at the wedding of Sister Rosetta Tharp. 25,000 people attended that wedding. They paid admission, and they bought gifts. And this third marriage of hers lasted more than 20 years. The co-creator and writer of this musical says she actually pitched this idea a decade ago, only to be turned down by everyone. So for her, having Sister Rosetta Tharp's story on stage is a dream, and for the artist portraying her, an honor. She persevered. She was an artist that did something that women weren't doing, or there weren't a lot of um, examples or role models. She was the role model. Her legacy, I just don't want it to die. She was a black woman uh, who defied odds, uh, not because I don't even think she really intentionally went out to like beat the system. I just think she just didn't know she wasn't supposed to. This production is so important because I, I say that she is the, she's the person that you didn't know you already knew. She's yet another reminder that history may not always tell the whole story. And by digging a little deeper, we might find something worth shouting about. Well, 